come back. Today's stories are gonna focus on odd encounters that I have had throughout my life. This is just a few of those. So when I was a little kid, I was part of the 4-H program where he did arts and crafts and different things like that. I was only five or six years old. My sister was also involved. One year for a Christmas party, we were doing a Christmas bingo. So all the spaces were empty and we had to draw a picture that matched something with Christmas in each square. We were thinking of different things that were associated with Christmas. And this woman leans over to me. She looks like she came out of one of the tombs in ancient Egypt. Very old and decayed. Her voice matched her look. Dry chimney. <laughs> She looked like she smoked a chimney 24 times a day. I never forgot that moment. Those kind of things get ingrained in your brain. When I first started school in Utah, I worked at a frozen yogurt parlor. I was usually the only one in the store working and this guy comes through the line. He gets all his frozen yogurt toppings and everything. He pays and as he's about to leave the store, I say to him, how nice night. He smiles back at me and he says, have a bad one. Uh, I will make sure that I don't. Weirdo, who says that to customer service? Based on that statement alone that guy made of having a bad night and smiling about it, I was thinking this guy is a sociopath or something and he enjoys watching people suffer. <laughs> and I would not want to find myself alone with him outside of work because I might end up in a body bag at the bottom of a river. I remember when The Man of Steel first came out, I went to the IMAX premiere with one of my friends. We were waiting in the lobby. They were showing trailers of different movies and they were showing a trailer for Man of Steel and they were showing a plane in it. This 12 to 13 year old kid comes up next to us. He's wearing this white t-shirt with all these mathematical equations on it. He looks up, you know, I remember when I fell out of the sky. I woke up eight months later in a hospital. Yeah, because mm. we have no idea what to say to that statement. And he walks away. <laughs> totally deadpan, whether he was making a joke or not, he sounded totally serious. Those are the odd encounters that I wanted to share with you this fine, fine evening. Sending out good vibes to everybody out there.